Hello student doctors, in this video we're going to be talking about ezetimibe, a cholesterol absorption inhibitor. It impairs dietary and biliary cholesterol absorption at the brush border of the intestine. Commonly prescribed LDLC lowering agent after statins. It inhibits neiman pick c one like one protein, also known as NPC1L1. This protein is expressed in both the intestine and the liver. It's a transmembrane protein localized at the apical membrane of enterocytes and at the canalicular membrane of hepatocytes. So the apical membrane of enterocytes is between the lumen of the intestine and the blood, and the canalicular membrane of hepatocytes is between the blood and the bile. It functions as a sterile transporter to mediate intestinal absorption and counterbalances hepatobiliary cholesterol excretion. Said simply, it inhibits the absorption of cholesterol from the small intestine. It also decreases the amount of cholesterol normally available to liver cells. The net effect is a decrease in cholesterol absorption. As a matter of fact, a genetic study found an association between a heterozygous state for NPC1L1 and lower LDL cholesterol levels. Folks with this mutation had a lower risk of developing coronary heart disease. The decision to add this drug or other to statin should take into account the predicted magnitude of the benefit in the patient's preferences. Ezetimibe is indicated in homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, homozygous cytosterolemia, primary hyperlipidemia. It can be used as a monotherapy. It's also used in combination with phenofibrate in combination with statins. It's contraindicated in patients with an active hepatic disease in combination with a statin. And it's not recommended in patients with moderate to severe hepatic impairment. It's contraindicated in pregnancy and in breastfeeding, especially when used in combination with a statin. The most common adverse effect is headache, runny nose, and sore throat. There have been reports of rhabdomyolysis in combination with statins when it's combined with a statin. Here's a handout. So when it's combined with a statin, there are major contraindications. So in your elderly patients or patients with hypothyroidism or renal impairment, uh, toxicity, uh, specifically skeletal muscle toxicity, is increased in these patients. There are no black box warnings with ezetimibe. This drug is rapidly absorbed and extensively metabolized glucuronide conjugate. This occurs in the liver and the intestine via UDP glucuronosyl transferases. Both the parent compound and its active metabolite are eliminated from plasma with a half-life of around 22 hours.